Hundreds of dead sea turtles are washing ashore on Suncoast beaches. Scientists are almost certain that red tide is the killer. ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick is on Minnesota Key tonight with the story. If you take a stroll down any Suncoast beach that has seen the wrath of red tide, like right here on Minnesota Key Beach, you're likely to find a dead fish or two. But lately, dead sea turtles have also been washing ashore, sometimes five to ten a day. We normally see dead turtles. They can be any time of the year, but not like this. Carol Leonard walks Minnesota Key Beach three mornings a week as part of the Coastal Wildlife Club's Turtle Watch. She's found at least four dead sea turtles since April. She was a beautiful adult female. She looked like she was just resting in the surf, but she was dead. And that's a tragedy when we get those big adults. They've spent 30 more years surviving all the hazards and they make it back to nest and they hit a red tide bloom and they die. Turtle watch groups across the Sun Coast are seeing the same trends. Moat Marine reporting that 112 sea turtles have been recovered since January. Our annual average is 100 total, so being in July and we're already eclipsing our annual average, it's a little alarming and a lot of work. When turtle watch groups find these dead sea turtles, they report them to Moat, where scientists will run tests to learn what happened and test for red tide. We've collected samples to test for that. We have not sent those, an those samples out yet, but given time and space and the fact that we're not having any other findings on these animals for the most part, we're very suspicious, almost, you know, almost can confirm red tide. Since July 15th, 28 sea turtles have been recovered. Three of them were alive, but suffering from red tide symptoms. Sea turtles, they actually get it through their food, so what they're going out and foraging for, um, and then it acts like a neurotoxin. So if they're alive, they're going to be very disoriented. Sometimes they're, they, they see, have little seizures. Um, they can be very uncoordinated in the water. Moat rehabilitates the sick turtles that they are lucky enough to find alive. One was released back into the Gulf just Friday morning. Like the sea turtles, manatees are also dying from red tide. That's not happening as frequently here on the Sun Coast as it is a little further south in Lee and Collier counties. On Minnesota Key, Jess Aldrich, ABC 7, your Sun Coast News.